Okay, is problem two. Consider a circuit with a resistance of one kilo ohm and a capacitance of two microfarad. Simply ask you what time is required for the capacitor to discharge 99% uh, of the original charge. So if you discharge 99% of the original charge, that means that the charge you're going to have left at some particular time is going to be 1% of the original charge. You're going to have 1% of Q0 left. Now they don't tell you what Q0 is, but that's okay. They tell you you're going to have 1% of Q0. So you simply have to, again, remember we're just dealing with a charge capacitor which is connected to a resistor, and that's it. So this is just a simple discharging system. We have some initial charge over here, Q0. We have our resistance, which is 1,000. Okay, and we know the capacitance is 2 microfarad. So for a simple discharging circuit like the one we have here, the charge as a function of time is simply equal to the initial charge and exponential of minus t divided by our time constant tau. I'll just write it as rc. And that's it. You notice that we have q0 on both sides. We can cross it out. So this expression, we're left with 1 over 100 equals to exponential minus t divided by rc. And this is what they're asking for. They're asking for the time. So all we have to do now with this expression is isolate time somehow. If you have exponential and you want to eliminate the exponential, what you do is you take the natural logarithm on both sides, 1 over 100. And the natural log of any exponential function simply returns the exponent, minus t over rc. Now don't worry about the negative sign here, there's an overall negative sign. When you take the natural log of 1 over 100, that's going to give you a negative number. And it's going to cancel the negative side on the right hand side of this expression. So at the end, all we're left with is, at our time, is minus the time constant rc times the natural log of 1 over 100. We can substitute in all our values now. We have minus, the resistance was 1,000. We had 2 microfarad for the capacitance. And now we have the natural log of 1 over 100. When you substitute everything in the calculator, you take your time, you get 9.2 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds, uh, which simply means 9.2 milliseconds. Okay, pretty straightforward. I think the only kind of trickiness here was um, they use this language 99% of the original charge. So you have to keep in mind that if you lose 99% of the charge you're going to be left with 100. And that's what our equation for the discharging tells us. It tells us how much charge we have.